Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to install a custom ROM on your Alcatel One Touch Fire. This, the entry level telephone from Firefox OS, released in 20 no 2013. Sorry. 2013 so uh, the first thing you need to do is to go right here on mega I will put the links in the description so don't be afraid and uh, what you need to do is to install download and install the driver for uh, for your device of course it's very simple it's just a folder with uh, uh, an exe so you need to run this exe of course this guide is for uh, windows users but you can uh, or you can also um, install custom roms on linux but this guide is for windows users so you need to install those drivers and then i don't uh, i will not show you uh, that uh, step because I already installed it and it's very very stupid you can do it by yourself uh, so the important part is that you need to go on vegnutsmod.wordpress.com vegnutsmod is the name of the company that made this so thank you <laughs> vegnutsmod uh, you need to go on this section Hamachi, Arcade One Touch Fire and right here you can see all the version that they released of the uh, of the uh, firmware from your telephone F mm, the 1.1 the oldest to the master that is 2.2 .2, but i don't adv advise you to take it or um, the either the 2.1 because they are quite uh, bugged the most stable are 1.3 but is uh, quite old the 1.4 and what i really like the 2.0 in this guide i will install the 2.0 but the steps are the same for all the all the firmwares so uh, you need to click on the uh, on the link near the version and remember to take the uh, updated version there is a 2.0 released the 13th of October 2014 and there is the uh, the 2.0 released on 12 of November 2014 so take this in this case will appear this link of course mega and you have to download this file so I already did it uh, you can go on your download folder and you can see uh, VM Amachi Images uh, version 2.0 and date dot tar dot xz that is an extension for archive uh, that uh, is, is used with Linux so uh, we are on Windows, so we need to to extract this. We need to go on 7-zip from Google. This is the, the the site. I will put the link in the description, so don't be afraid. Um, and you need to download the program. Of course, 32 or 64 bit depends for from your device. Uh, what do that uh, program it's very simple you right click on the tar.xz and extract here so you will have another archive that you can easily extract with your winrar winzip or i use uh, zip genius for example if you use zip genius no problems extract here and you have the famous folder vm amashi etc 2.0 if you open it you can see the system this is the system 
this is what you will install in your device so what we're going to do now uh, are the steps with your telephone because of course you need to use <laughs> your telephone um, you need to take the cable this is the cable uh, that you have with your battery charger but we will not use the battery charger we'll use only the cable with the with the, with the USB and the U micro USB okay so we are going to plug our, te our telephone Wait a minute. I will show you how to make this. So let's put our telephone in the PC. Okay. When that uh, screen appear, you need to click on the bottom. Uh, part of the music button for the volume because uh, making this the telephone will go on the boot mode I can leave the my finger you can see it is freeze because now it, it uh, is in boot mode so now let's go here and let's run the file batch windows called flash let's run it and will appear the command box from windows do you want to flash user data yes okay and now it will make all the, the hard work now specifically is uh, and it's sending um, the system to the device and it will take a few minutes it's not uh, it's it's quite fast okay but you need to wait right now so let's wait now he is writing the system because he initially need to send it to the device then write it then uh, he will wipe the the data and the cache from the telephone so the telephone will be um, clearly uh, it will be sorry it will be clear from everything okay everything complete press any key to exit reboot so Okay, now see the telephone what did? He reboot it it reboot. The first time uh, it, it's slow because we install everything etc but it will be faster later. So this is the logo. And now I've lost the brand from Tim because I am Italian, so the the um, the brand was Tim Telecom. Now it will appear Vegnuts mode, as you can see. And this, let me choose the the language uh, next 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 I hate this part is loading uh, my contacts from my sim oh god okay next 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 ignore okay this is oh. 
Uh, it always happens when I'm doing something important. Yeah. So this is the, um, uh, the interface, the graphic interface. It's, it's really good. It's nice. We can't compare this to the 1.1 that was awful, completely awful and buggy. So this is the new clock with the addition of the timer and chronometers. Very cool. This is the music, uh, the music player. Everything works well, quite well. Uh, these, are, those are the uh, the options. We have more things, and we can also um, get developers, the developers um, uh, section. So we can make some some things quite cool, cool stuff. This is the new call log, and we have, that is one of the coolest features, we have the, the gestures, so uh, I can swap from, um, from options, for example, to the call log, or the, um, the music player that I opened before this is a clock it, it's very very cool that's it so I hope you enjoyed the video I hope that was useful if you have any problem you can contact me um, on YouTube so you can uh, write me comments um, subscribe to my channel and like the video and uh, we'll see we'll see you in the next tutorial thank you